Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to decode some strange information about ancient technology. I have been researching this quietly for many years and gathering this data from several ancient temples of India. Let's take a look at this carving. What do you see? Two spectacularly intertwined snakes to create a mystical association of masculine and feminine energy, right? Now, let's also look at this carving. Again, you can see some unexplainable symbol of spirituality. What do they mean? Why are they carved in ancient temples? Did ancient builders create all these carvings merely for religious or spiritual reasons or did they carve them for a practical scientific purpose? What if we recreate this information? So I started to recreate these carvings physically with the help of volunteers. So I took two strings, placed them exactly as shown in the carving, and then pulled the ends. See what happened there. This is a knot, an actual knot. This is called a square knot or a reef knot today. And then it clicked. This finished knot is also carved in the next pillar in the same temple. Now, even more strange, we don't even see the carvings of the beginning and the end stages. We see step-by-step -step procedure of how to make this knot in carvings. What you're seeing is an ancient step-by-step -step manual of how to tie the square or reef knot. Today, if you want to tie a tie or a knot, you Google it and you will see four stages. Ancient builders of India have done the exact same thing in stone. Multiple stages are shown how the strings should be placed, how they should be twined, and how the knot is formed. All carved in pillars one by one. Now, let's go back to this carving. Initially, I described this as two magical nagas intertwined to represent yin-yang forces, right? So I decided to try this. We took two strings and we placed them exactly as shown in the carving and tightened them. And guess what? Another knot. This knot is called Karak Bend Knot. What is going on in ancient Indian temples? So I decided to take this up a notch and I found this carving of a beautiful pentagram, a five-pointed star that's not only a sacred symbol in India, but it's also a mystical symbol around the world. But why is it carved in this temple? Then I started to notice that at the crossings, one strand is going up and another strand is going down. This means this is a 3D carving, okay? They're literally telling us to put one strand below in certain places and above in other places. Today, experts in knots call them understrand and overstrand. So I decided to replicate it. I carefully looked at the crossings and mimicked the carving. Do you think this is a knot? Yes, it is. This type of knot is called a torus knot or a sinky foil. Actually, in the West, it is known as the Solomon seal. But you can see this knot has already existed in ancient India as well. I have now collected and documented these knots from more than 50 ancient temples. But now, let's go to the Vitala temple at Hampi because it has some very strange carvings. This is an insane temple with unexplainable technology like the musical pillars. Look at this carving, what do you think? That's definitely a snake's head at the top. And if you look closer, you can see two other snakes as well intertwined beautifully. So again, we recreated this and sure enough, yes, it does form a spectacular knot. This is called the chain sinnet knot. All these knots you see are actually very good and strong knots. In the same temple, we have lots of carvings showing knots. 
Unfortunately, many of them are now eroded and I was not able to replicate some of them because the details are gone and we do not preserve these precious temples. Here's another one. It's very odd. I don't know if you can understand this. It is unique in many ways. It was very difficult to recreate this. We failed a couple of times. But guess what happens when we tighten it? This is another complicated knot called the clover leaf knot. If you read today's textbooks about knots, people think they invented many of these complicated knots in the last few centuries. But from these carvings, we can understand that ancient Indians were masters of these complex knots. And not only that, they were keen on passing this knowledge to their future generations using these carvings. This is priceless information because today, around the world, parents send their kids to Boy Scouts or Scouts and Guides training. They send the kids to boot camps to learn about knots. But if you tell an Indian parent to take the kids to temples, both the kid and their parents think it's a waste of time or it's just a place where you can go and close your eyes to worship God. But ancient temples were also designed to open your eyes, not just for spiritual information, but also technical real life information. Ancient Indian temples are extraordinary sources of practical information. Think about the point of view of ancient sculptors. They could have carved any of the thousands of Hindu gods, dancers, arts, but instead they chose to carve these knots because they wanted to teach their future generations a necessary life skill. But this technology, this art of teaching actual information in temples was lost in the last few centuries. And the newer temples have become mere places of worship. And I'll show you why I say this. Look at this carving from a temple uh, that was built in the last few centuries. What about this one? Is this a knot? I mean, it seems obvious that there are many overstrands and understrands, and this is just too complex not to be a knot. But we recreated this and we realized it's not a knot. It's not a knot. It's just a nice design. Nothing gets tied up in this. Here's another one right next to this design. You can see the intertwined Nagas. What about this one? Again, surprisingly, no, it's not a knot. And this is mind boggling to me. In ancient Indian temples, they were teaching you step by step about how to make knots. Not one or two, but there are hundreds of different knots carved with illustrations. But this idea was lost somewhere in time. And now these carvings have become mere religious symbols. This is why the temples built in the last few centuries do not show knots. These newer temples are just poor imitations of ancient temples without understanding the concept of ancient science, technology, and art. So somewhere in the last few centuries, this knowledge was lost. And knot making is an essential life skill. And you have to be an expert in knots if you're doing construction work, if you're lifting megalithic rocks. And these knots can save your life if you're doing stuff like mountain climbing or cave diving. Okay, so you have now understood that ancient builders carved a variety of knots. But is this really advanced technology? It's time for me to show you some very advanced ancient carvings. At first sight, we are shocked by the details on the stone. There are so many weird features in this carving. There is a gear at the center. If this gear turns, it appears that the string would move like a conveyor belt mechanism. And if you look carefully, you'll find smaller gear wheels as well. And that's not the end of it. Look at this part. 
this is clearly a stopper, just like what we use today. And it gets more interesting because every carving you have seen so far was symmetrical. If you split in the middle, both halves looked identical. This is one of the key features of all these knots. But this one is completely different because it's not just a knot. If you split in the middle, on one side, you can see the crescent. On the other side, you can see a full circle. This half represents darkness because of the moon, and this half denotes light because of the sun. But if you look carefully below, the halves are not identical. They're inverted. This is mind-boggling. Look how these details are carved in a strange but orderly fashion. This is currently housed in the Government Museum of Chennai, and archaeologists confirm that it is, in fact, an ancient carving. Is it possible that this is a model of an advanced technical device? Why else would it resemble modern-day features like gears and stoppers, not to mention the insanely complicated knots? We now have a team which is currently trying to recreate this with actual gears and stopper mechanisms. But why bother? Because this is said to be the exact same pattern carved on the secret vault of Padmanabha Swami Temple. In case you did not know, in the year 2011, authorities managed to open some secret vaults in the Padmanabha Swami Temple. What they found sent shock waves around the world. They found 22 billion, yes, 22 billion dollars worth of gold and precious gems inside. This temple, which is at least 2,000 years old, has a total of six different vaults, and authorities have been able to open only five of them. The most important vault, now referred to as Vault B, has not been opened yet. Why? Because the door is said to be locked with the same complicated Naga pattern. Today, you can go online and see various photoshopped pictures of this door, but no one has an actual photo of this door because no filming is allowed there. Even what I say is hearsay. But temple authorities claim that this type of intertwined Naga knot called Naga Bandham is designed on the door of Vault B. The team which opened all the other vaults tried their best to open it, but gave up the effort as there are no locks, no latches, no hinges, or even cracks to pry the door open. They were bewildered at how to open the vault, as it appears to be made of solid stone, and became afraid if they try to break the door, it'll completely jam the vault, making it useless. What is interesting is that today, banks have started to use a very similar technology to protect their lockers. If a person does not use the required combination and tries to force the door open, the doors will completely jam and will make it impossible to access what's inside. Is it possible that Vault B is waiting for a particular decoding technology? a particular combination that can untie this knot. Is this why authorities have not been able to open this so far? Wikipedia page mentions Vault B as the forbidden zone and estimates that what's inside this vault will be more than 50 trillion Indian rupees. That's about 700 billion US dollars. But perhaps the biggest treasure is the ancient technology of knots. Ancient Indian temples have thousands of these carvings showing valuable information, and they've all been ignored until now. What I've shown you right now is just the tip of the iceberg, and I hope this video will be a stepping stone for others to research this area more. I'm Praveen Mohan, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.